Hello, YouTube. Hello. We are in Tarpon Springs, and we're headed to the Sponge Docks. Yeah, it's big industry here in Tarpon Springs. It has been uh, ever since the late 1800s. They've been doing sponge harvesting here. In fact, we're the sponge capital of the world. Yeah, right here in the Gulf of Mexico, off this part of Florida, near Tarpon Springs. They have a huge supply of natural sea sponges. I never knew that before. And um, do you know, is a, is a sponge a plant or an animal? It's an animal. It is an animal. Actually, the sponge that you buy at the store is the dried out skeleton of the animal. Mm -hmm. But this place has a huge Greek influence because when the sponge industry started, they used to go out in boats and use these long hooks to pull up the sponges. But then they had about 500 um, very experienced Greek sponge divers come over to this area and help them out. Oh, cool. They use those old-fashioned diving suits. Yeah, I'd love to own one of those helmets. Oh yeah, the ones with the, um, the, the big copper, copper helmet. helmets yeah. with the hose that went into a compressor tank in the boat. So that's what they were doing out here back in about 1905 is when they came over. And Tarpon Springs has a huge Greek population. As a result, yeah, it, it, the whole uh, town was built on uh, the Greek immigrants coming over and doing the sponges. So now it's like one in every 10 people who live here is of Greek descent. That's cool. So I am sure that when we go down to the sponge docks, we're going to see a big Greek influence. They have all kinds of shopping where you can buy natural sea sponges. They have all kinds of really good Greek restaurants from what I hear. So I hope to at least have a little taste of some Greek food. Okay. I love Greek salad or um, spanakopita, you know, the spinach and the pastry or baklava, the dessert. So I'm anxious to see it. Well, we're on our way now. We'll be there shortly. You know, we got to pick up a sponge. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I mean, we can really go here. We're going to have a good time. We're going to really soak this up. <laughs> All right. We'll see you there. Right. Okay. We're getting ready to turn off of Athens Street and onto Pinellas Avenue here. All right. And then we should be coming up on what's the name of that road? I believe it's Dodecanese. Not sure, yes, the but we're heading down towards the um, sponge docks here. Yeah, the sponge docks, also known as the sponge exchange, where all the uh, shops and restaurants and are. The boats that go out to get it. Yeah, all the the sponging boats. Yep, here it is, the dock, and he's at the next signal. That's where we'll be turning it. It's like Debbie said, it's a real nice kind of tourist trap, shopping district. It'll be kind of cool. Yeah. A lot of history here too. Mm -hmm. All right, here we are. This is the um, heart of it all, pretty much. Oh yeah, here we are, right on the water. Yep, on the right side, you've got the bay. You can see a lot of the uh, fishing boats and stuff, and some restaurants, and shops on both sides of the road. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a place to park up here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get out and do a little walking around. Here, and check all day out. parking. All right, let's do it. We are gonna go do some shopping here and get us a little takeout, Greek food. That should be fun. No problem. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. This is gonna be kind of cool. Let's check things out. Yeah. See you in the stores.
check it out. Odyssey Cruising. That's a good name. And it's blue. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks, brother. You like that one, don't you? I did too. You can't beat that. <laughs> run, Bob, run. Swim. <laughs> check out what I got. Got a natural sea sponge. This one's for bathing. And he said how to care for it is never use bleach on it when you're cleaning it. Just when you're done using it, rinse it out with uh, fresh water and just let it dry. <laughs> They're hypoallergenic by themselves. So. Very cool. Bob, this is a famous Greek restaurant here, this Hella's restaurant, okay. and they have a bakery, which is probably where I could get some baklava. Looks like it's quite a waiting room. Oh yeah? Well, I'll wait till it dies down a little. We might get some takeout. Yeah, let's Take do back that. to let's the camper. Okay. Take out here from Mama's Authentic Greek Cuisine. Uh, this place is really very popular, very well known. Got the goods. Awesome. Let's go eat. Let's go eat some dinner, some Greek food. Okay, so we're back in the trailer now. We've got our food here with us and Debbie's gonna go over and let you know everything we got here. All right, we got a Greek salad. Look at all that. Feta. And that's for Debbie. Yep. We've got the char broiled 
Octopus, that's, that's for Bob. For me. With olive oil and lemon, very Mediterranean with a rice pilaf. That's for me. I got the gyro. Or gyro. Or... It, I think it's a gyro. Okay. And then soup. For I'm Bob. I'm not sure what kind it is. And then for dessert, the baklava. That's that the... we're going to share. It's good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's delicious. Yeah, I like it too. Kind of tastes like squid. Yeah, I've had it on Korean style before, but this is really good too. Mm -hmm. Okay, Debbie. Usually you can pick these up and eat them, but I don't know about this one. I think I'm going to have to cut a piece. Let's see. Okay, Debbie, let's see how this is. <laughs> I'm going to taste the meat here. Mmm. Isn't that good? good? Mm -hmm. I tried a piece of that meat and it's really tender. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll get it down the size where I can pick it up and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good looking salad. Good. All right. Good stuff. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so try a little baklava. Yeah. The dessert. All those layers of phyllo dough just drenched in honey and nuts and cinnamon. Mm. Tasty, huh? Oh yeah. Mm. Nice finish to the day at the sponge docks. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Very Greek. Okay, so we are back in Naples and we got us some stickers. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll put them on right now. The first one is Foreverland RV. That's Steve. He's also known as Chief and his wife Dee. He's retired military. They travel around in a travel trailer with their rescue dog Lucy. And um, the last video was a really good one in a vineyard. You want to go check that out? We're going to put a link to their channel uh, below. That's Foreverland RV. And we're going to yeah. put their sticker up now. They have a nice channel. You can remember it Foreverland RV because Foreverland is a Peter Pan reference. It has something to do with how they met. But very cool couple, so we're glad to add them to the back of the camper here. It's a cool looking sticker. Beautiful. Got the flamingos. Yep. There it is. And next is J5729, and they like to go exploring. And uh, they've got a really awesome channel also. That is Jason and a Jody and their two kids and they also travel with some cats. They've got a Class A and a very, very good channel. You'll want to go check them out. Well, yeah, they're in uh, out of California, but they do a lot of traveling outside of California too. Very cool family. I love watching their adventures and it's not unusual for them to do a do-it-yourself or some art projects that are awesome. Yeah, he's quite the artist actually. Yeah. But um, they do a lot of cool travel, so check them out on YouTube. And we will put a uh, link to their channel below. Also, a surprise we got along with his is he went to Hawaii, or they went to Hawaii, and while they were there, they, um, they saw some more stickers there and they thought of us because... The blue waves on them. Yeah. So we even got some additional stickers from Jason and Jody, so we're going to put them on as well. Check it out, it's got a little sea turtle on it. Yeah, that's a perfect Blue Wave Odyssey sticker. Very cool. And there's the other sticker they got us from Hawaii. And thank you Jason and Jody for thinking of us while you were in Hawaii. And also be sure to check out Foreverland RV. and. J5729. Thank you for all the stickers. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to put links to their, these channels below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.